Does anyone else think we missed a topic of conversation? <music> Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. When I was growing up, whenever the conversation got shitty, if you will, the parental units would always try to divert our giggles and poop talk by saying, did we miss a topic of conversation? Let's not get into categories, shall we? There would be an awkward silence for a few minutes and then the conversation would eventually go back to the ass Olympics. All it would take is a well-placed flatulence, even if it was artificial, or a joke on the television to get us back into giggling about some of the most natural yet disgusting bodily functions. I don't know, does anybody totally really grow up when it comes to that noise or even the thought of someone's anal misfortunes? In this week's video, if you haven't guessed already, I will talk about this latest hard-hitting infotainment distraction about our dear leader. But before I get into all of that, I'm going live coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. I'm calling the series Talk To Me America. My call-in talk show will feature you. Call in and tell the universe how you feel about the topics that affect us the most. Let us know what your experience was when things we see happening have happened to you. We cannot be free without the freedom of speech, and I want to be a part of that freedom that we are guaranteed by our Creator. So stay tuned and get your voices ready to speak out. Spread the news and stay tuned for Here's What I Heard's Talk To Me America series, coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. In the meantime, please give us a like, a share, a subscribe, and a comment. You will be doing this on my call-in talk show, so start letting me know what you heard now in the comments. The best comments and the best phone calls will be featured in my videos all over the internet. The world wants to hear what you have to say, so call me and tell them like it is. A donation would be the ultimate and will help me get your voice out on as many platforms as possible. And you can follow me on those other platforms too. All of my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? As we know, our dear leader has a continence problem. Well, we may not be quite that sure of these poop tarts, since both sides of the infotainment establishment are actually arguing about whether or not this fecal event even happened. Alex Jones has actually reported that the Secret Service tells us that this is a almost daily event for Mr. Biden. Um, what is my opinion? Yeah, I think he does. Of course he does. He probably eats mush. He takes tons of prescriptions to keep him even a little bit coherent. And isn't he almost 80 years old? Even the best and the youngest of us have this problem once in a while, especially if it comes down to our health. It's hard to actually make fun of this kind of an event in any case, as it is totally a fact of life, but we manage to. I can remember way back when my great grandmother, at not even close to his age, getting up and tooting all the way to the bathroom, and at four to five years old, it was impossible not to giggle. Also, if I'm not mistaken, this phenomenon actually happens to most all beings, especially at the beginning and the ending of their lives. In fact, don't we defecate after we've taken our last breath? Yeah, they never show that part on TV. Is that the actual death rattle that we all hear about? Nah, that happens farther up the body, sorry. From what I can tell though, everyone is talking about this alleged fecal matter event. I mean, let me show you just a few of the headlines from the Western Journal. Commentary. 
Is the rumor about Biden pooping his pants in Rome true? This looks like a local news station or uh, website. Why poopy pants Biden memes trended after POTUS meeting with Pope Francis. Then you have the ones that are claiming that uh, it's a troll or a lie based on right wing politics and such. POTUS. Joe Biden trolls make ridiculous claims President pooped himself in uh, quotes during meeting with Pope as hashtag poopy pants Biden trends. Yet another one, the Daily Dot claims right wing conspiracy theorists claim Biden soiled himself at the Vatican. Isn't that a polite way to put it? Even Snopes got in on the action, so you know this was an important, important subject to talk about. Did Biden poop his pants in Rome? Spoiler alert, they claim false. And here we are, not even a week later, and Joe's anal escapades don't even produce anything this time, except for some hot air, to make the headlines. Are you kidding me? From the National File, Royal Fart Joe trends on Twitter after White House refuses to comment on Biden's flatulence scandal at Climate Summit. Biden's flatulence in front of the Duchess of Cornwall was reportedly long and loud and impossible to ignore. It seems that here Breitbart tries to be comical about it. Emissions reported at Climate Summit. Camilla blown away after hearing Joe Biden loudly fart. It also seems that these publications can't stop talking about the people that are talking about these events such as they are. The New York Post. Camilla Parker Bowles can't stop talking about Joe Biden's long fart. Again, in quotations. I wonder if all these quotations makes everybody think that this stuff is ironic. The UK's very own Daily Mail. Joe Biden or the new Mr. Trump? Camilla hasn't stopped talking about, in quotes, hearing the president, in quotes, break wind during chat at COP26 climate summit in Glasgow. It seems like Camilla doesn't get out much, does she? <laughs> now, some claim that this thing started here. In my opinion, I think it started here. This was literally my first thought when I started seeing the news about this stance that he took at that extremely confusing and unnecessary town hall. Talk about ratioed, but don't get me distracted. I mean, I've seen my two-year-old grandson do this when he doesn't want to go to the potty. Even Cornholio needed more TP. Now, I want you to go back to a time about five years ago now. And imagine, if you will, you can even close your eyes if you want to, <laughs> had this happened to the previous administration. I mean, hell, they were claiming he was unfit and declining as it was. You remember when he went down that slippery ramp carefully as not to fall and actually look bad? And then we get this. But that was just a strong wind. Hmm. I wonder if his rumored flatulence triggered that fall, too. Of course, with the establishment media kept claiming he was so incompetent, one little skid mark and they probably would have put him in a straitjacket or impeached him again. They'd be saying things like, look how incompetent Trump is. He can't even control his own shithole. 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 I bet the Russians told him to do that so he would disgust and alienate our allies in favor of Russia. You Russian conspiracy theorists do realize that Putin is laughing at you media idiots, right? Maybe not. 
Can you imagine the questions the press would ask Trump afterwards? I can just imagine the questions. Maybe like this. Just how long do you plan on fooling your base into thinking you are the competent leader if you can't even control your bowels in front of God's vessel? Mr. Trump, how do you excuse yourself from the rumor of your flatulence in front of the Duchess of Cornwall? And why can she not stop talking about it? Sir, what foods are you eating to lessen your chances of pooing yourself in front of the Premier of Germany next week? Is this a sexual thing for you, sir? Is this proof of what was indicated in the steel dossier? What was the Queen's reaction to your flatulence, sir? How long did you hold it before you just could not help embarrassing the United States once again with your incompetent flatulence? Mr. President, Mr. President, why didn't you excuse yourself when you felt pressure in your intestines? Do you keep a record of all your bathroom escapades? You get the idea. Meanwhile, most of the media, if you will, argue over it. While the southern border is wide open, while they impose medical serums on citizens that seem to be hurting the younger folks now, we're begging countries that hate us to give us good, dependable, and reasonably priced oil products while closing down pipelines and jobs for the folks that actually got this administration in office. They're sneaking folks in the dead of the night into states that they can't seem to control of when it comes to the RUSFI mandates, even though there's been a lot of proof that they are not working to eliminate the RUSFI. People are losing their livelihoods while the elite and leaders, and I use that term very loosely, thumb their noses at us while picking our pockets, all while claiming it's for our own good. I wanna know who actually trusts anyone else with their own well-being in this case, in any case. Especially people like this. Frankly, this shit, pun intended, is not news. Every living thing on the planet poops, but we really just don't want to know about it. This, like any of our other biological grossness that happens to everyone, needs to remain their own personal hell. Because of that, no one else needs to be made aware. These things are way more than I ever wanted to know about any person, much less this lying political hack. And for the infotainers to literally be fighting over whether it even happened or not, when we have so many other hells to worry about that actually affect all of us. Well, let's just say someone definitely missed a topic of conversation here. Everyone did. Now, can I and do I attribute this to my rule of showbiz or celebrity? You bet I can. Here's the best example I can think of. There are literally folks out there that refuse, absolute refuse to poo in public. They'll hold it until they get home, or they will postpone plans until it's done at home, and then go out. Then there are others that will do it on the most prestigious stages on the planet. Think about it, and answer me this. Which one do we hear about the most? True or not? I do hope you enjoyed my video this week. Don't forget, I'm going live coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. I'm calling the series Talk To Me America. My call-in talk show will feature you. Call in and tell the universe how you feel about the topics that affect us the most. Let us know what your experience was when things we see happening have happened to you. We cannot be free without the freedom of speech, and I want to be a part of that freedom that we are guaranteed by our Creator. So stay tuned and get your voices ready to speak out. Spread the news and stay tuned for Here's What I Heard's Talk To Me America series, coming up December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central. In the meantime, please give us a like, a share, a subscribe, and a comment. You will be doing this on my call-in talk show, so start letting me know what you heard now in the comments. 
The best comments and the best phone calls will be featured in my videos all over the internet. The world wants to hear what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. A donation would be the ultimate and will help me get your voice out on as many platforms as possible. And you can follow me on those other platforms too. All of my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.